this video, I want to talk about a Power BI theme test file that I created. And now you may wonder what is a Power BI theme test file? Well, it's a Power BI file that I created for myself to test new themes, themes that I created or themes that I find online, because I want to see how they impact the Power BI file that I'm working with. If you don't know what a Power BI theme is, let me explain that very quickly. In Power BI, when we go to one of our files and we go into view, we see themes there. And if your organization has some themes, you can see them there, but you can also see the accessible themes. We have the default Power BI theme and some other themes. We can browse for themes and upload our own and there's also a place where you can look what other people created and we can customize our current theme there and if we would have changed something here we could have saved a new theme file so i created quite some themes in the past i can show you some of them like this or this one, and they're all not perfect yet. And that's exactly why I have this file. Because, so I go back to the default theme, and you see, this is what you get when you drag and drop information in Power BI and you look at the default theme. And I created all these themes because I wanted to change that. I want that, for example, if we look at this theme. I want the standard color to be something like this teal. And in a theme, that's basically a JSON file, you can configure quite a lot. So you can configure the background color of your canvas, of your visuals, the border color, the title size, font, like for everything, you can configure something there. Which also means if you get a new theme file or someone creates it for you or you download it somewhere, it could very well be that they forgot, for example, a certain border or a certain background of a visual and you want to see that very fast. Long story short, I created this test file for myself with kind of the visuals that I see a lot. Like at the top, you see the new card visual, you see a card visual, yes, a donut here, hindsight, a matrix table, all these kind of things. You see a tree map. I don't use tree maps normally in my visuals. Why do I have it here? Because in this case, it shows me very nicely the color scheme of my visual. And when I change it to something else, it's a very nice way to see it next to the stack bar chart, of course. This is of course something I created for myself. I put in some of the visuals. You could make this a very big test file. You could put in all the core visuals and create them in a way that you would normally do that for you, for your client, and then check a new theme. And this can be really helpful. For example, something like data labels. You can also configure if you show data labels or not. You can see what is the effect if I show them or not. So this test file, how I created this is I put in some demo data. So I have a date table and some data table and that's all. And then I just started to drag and drop the visuals there. So very basic. And then I just apply all these different themes to it. Now, if you think I don't have time to create this, there's good news. I put this file and if you download, it will look like this, the default on my website for free. You don't need to subscribe to anything. You don't need to write your email down. You just really get it for free. You can download it there. I have a little manual in there and then I hope this <laughs> brings you to, I hope this helps you to test your theme files because I know it can be tricky to get a starting point and I want to provide that to you. So let me know if that helped. Let me know if you have an even better file. If you want to share it with me, feel free to share it with me and thank you for watching this.